All right, Carl, let's talk about first, what was your first taste of life of a basketball player like down in the Bahamas and getting to actually be on the floor a little bit? Um, it was awesome. I mean, being able to play with this team, being able to uh, just, you know, start that chemistry, and that was the best thing for us. We started the chemistry. We showed we have a lot of continuity already. We have a great base. We still have to improve a lot in all aspects, but we made a great foundation for us and down in the Bahamas, you know, being able to wear my Kentucky jersey for the first time in a game, you know, was, as you know, it was a – an experience I'll never forget in my whole entire life, being able to know when um, my first time I put my jersey, you know, how it smelled, how it felt, <laughs> how it uh, how it just, uh, the way everything felt, you know, even the Gatorade tasted even sweeter. And, uh, you know, that's the best thing, you know. I'm just glad that I have the opportunity here to play here at the University of Kentucky. You know, for a lot of us, it was our first time to see you play. You got a little fire. I mean, you got a little little chip on your shoulder sometimes. It looks like you go after it. Um, you know, I just uh, – I usually always play with a chip on my shoulder. I always feel that, you know, uh, I feel like everyone I go out there, you know, I feel that everyone has a, something against me and I just want to go out there and I want to go settle it. I mean, um, I feel like I was at the park when I was younger. I never got to be picked at the park. So I always feel like through the years, I've always had to prove myself why I wasn't picked at the park that day. It was the biggest mistake they've ever made. And every game I play, even University of Kentucky or Dominican team, anywhere, I always feel that the people on the other team are not picking me up for their basketball team. So I have to prove to them something. You proved your character too when I think it was Drew the KSR asked you about what do you what do you remember about this? Instead of saying something about basketball, you talked about washing feet as part of that experience and you said that was that's what I'm gonna remember. Uh, you know, that was a uh, very humbling experience. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. It beat any game we played there, even with the Dominican team we named there. It beat everything. Um you know, you don't you ever get to do that every day. And that was the biggest thing that I was able to, to do such a magical and memorable experience with my brothers, with my family. Um, you know, it just made that even more special. Uh, I can't thank uh, Coach Cal for giving us a chance to do that. What are your expectations coming in as a freshman with all this talent on this team? What, do, what are your expectations for you? Um, for me, I just expect to grow as a player. Grow as a player. Uh, I always test myself more to grow as a human being more than as a player. Um, but you know, athletically, I want to uh, grow. I want to evolve. I want to be able to, I want to be a smarter player. I want to be a faster player. I want to be a, a more skillful player. Uh, my expression is really is just uh, to be a contributing to this team, but mostly my biggest thing is that I want everyone to contribute. You know, I want to be a, a team win. I want every day we, to uh, be enjoyable. You got some big guys you're banging with down there. You got some good big men on this team. I mean, you're talking about the best in the country. You know, you're talking about Dakari Johnson, Willie Collie Stein, Trey Lyles, Alex Poitras, who also play the four. I mean, you're talking about uh, Marcus Lee, you know, and, you know, we're talking about uh, you get some of the best the country has to offer. I mean, and that's the biggest thing. I can't – I'm just so humbled and glad that every day I come to this gym, I get to play great talent, and we get to compete every day. And, you know, it just makes all of us better, and it makes the team better, and that's the best thing. How cool is it for you? You play on this team. You're playing on the Dominican team. I mean, that's – Life for Carl Towns is pretty good. I mean, uh, you know, it's just a blessing. It's just been a blessing to uh, be able to play with two talented teams, uh, being able to just uh, learn from both sides of the ball. I mean, you know, just be able to learn from Willie Collie Stein, be able to learn from Dakari Johnson, Marcus Lee, Alex, and then also get to go and learn from some, you know, professional veterans, Jack Michael Martinez, Ulysses Baez, Al Horford. Um, I've just been blessed to have a lot of chances in life to play with such great talent. Uh, I just thank God every day. Why number 12? Um, you know, for me, I won number 44. Dakari Johnson has it. I won number 32, and Brian Long has it. And I was not going to take – I was not going to ask him for his jersey. He's a senior. He deserves to leave with the jersey that he started with. And that was that – was, uh, I wanted him to leave on, the, on his standards. And so I just had to pick another number. 12 was another number I've rocked, and that was because for the Dominican team. So I – Somehow it always goes back to the Dominican team. But, you know, I'm just glad that, um, you know, like I said, any number would have been special here at the University of Kentucky as long as what it says on the front matters, not what it says on the back.